today we are doing a video on matrices so first we'll go to the definition of the matrices a matrix is an arrangement of numbers in rows and columns and enclosed by the brackets if the matrix has m rows and n columns we say that it is a matrix of the order m cross n a matrix is always denoted by a capital letter examples we have a is equal to 2 3 4 9 is a matrix of order 2 cross 2 so here we have two rows and two columns so 2 3 will be the first row 4 9 will be the second row 2 4 will be the first column and 3 9 will be the second column similarly we have second matrix denoted by capital b is equal to 3 7 5 this is the first row 6 0 1 so this is the second row so if you communicate in terms of columns then 3 6 will be the first column 7 0 will be the second column and 5 1 will be the third column so it is a matrix of order 2 cross 3 that is two rows and three columns next we have a third matrix x is equal to 1 6 0 5 so you have only one row and now you have to communicate in terms of columns one is a one column six is a second column zero is the third column and five is the fourth column so as a result it is denoted by it is a matrix of order 1 cross 4 it is denoted by order 1 cross 4 so moving on types of matrices so we'll be studying about the different types of matrices so first matrix is a row matrix a matrix having only one row is called a row matrix example 1 0 5 so we can see it's having only one row 1 0 5 it is one row and columns in terms of you have first column second column third column so is a matrix of order 1 cross 3 now we have second one column matrix a matrix having only one column is called a column matrix example we are communicating in terms of a column 5 0 1 so we have one column and in terms of rows if we go first row second row third row 5 signifies first 0 signifies second and 1 signifies third row so as a result it is a matrix of order 3 cross 1 so it's having three rows and one column so as it is having a single column it is termed as a column matrix now we have third type that is a null matrix a matrix in which all the elements are zero is called a null matrix and is denoted by zero example zero 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 is a null matrix of order 2 cross 2 we can see all the elements are zero so first row second row first column second column so as a result it's uh, having 
a null matrix of order 2 cross 2. So moving on. So next we have a fourth type which is a square matrix. A matrix in which the number of rows is equal to the number of columns is called a square matrix. So we can see the number of rows must be equal to number of columns. First row, second row, third row, first column, second column, third column. So here we can see the number of rows is 3 as well as the number of columns is also 3. So it is a square matrix of order 3 cross 3. So In a square matrix, the diagonal from left top corner to the right top corner is called a principal diagonal. The other diagonal is called as the secondary diagonal. So you can see from left top corner to the right bottom corner. So 680 is termed as a principal diagonal and 983 is termed as a secondary diagonal. So we have 680 are principal diagonal elements and 983 are, 983 are secondary diagonal elements. Next we have fifth type that is diagonal matrix. A square matrix in which all the elements except the elements in the principal diagonal R0 is called a diagonal matrix. So here you can see only the principal diagonal elements are having different values and all the other elements are 0. So it is termed as a diagonal matrix and also we can see there are 3 rows and 3 columns. So the order of this diagonal matrix is 3 cross 3. So next we have scalar matrix, a diagonal matrix in which all the elements in the principal diagonal are identical is called a scalar matrix. So we know a diagonal matrix means only the principal diagonal elements are having different values, others are element are 0 but here the elements of the principal diagonal must be identical, must be same. So here you can see 5, 5, 5, all are of same value. Therefore, this diagonal matrix is termed as a scalar matrix. And also we can see there are 3 rows and 3 columns. Therefore, the order is 3 cross 3. So next it is identity matrix or unit matrix, a scalar matrix in which all the elements in the principal diagonal are unity is called an identity matrix and it is denoted by I. So we can see example i is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so again here we can see the principal diagonal elements are 1 the remaining all other elements are 0 so as the principal diagonal elements are 1 it is termed as a identity matrix and also we can see the number of rows is 3 and the number of columns is also 3. Therefore, the order of this matrix is 3 cross 3. So next one is symmetric matrix, a square matrix 
that is equal to its transpose is called a symmetric matrix. So here we need to learn the term of this transpose. What do you mean by transpose? Transpose means the rows are converted into columns and columns are converted into rows. Then it is termed as a transpose of a matrix. So if A is a square matrix, then for a symmetric matrix, A must be equal to transpose of A. So A must be equal to transpose of A. Example a is equal to 1 1 minus 1 1 2 0 minus 1 0 5. Now you have A transpose. So A transpose is the rows has been termed into column. That is 1 1 minus 1 row is termed into column 1 1 minus 1. Now the second row 1 2 0 is termed into a second column 1 2 0. And now the third row minus sorry. Uh, the third row minus 105 is termed into a third column minus 105. So rows are converted into columns and columns are converted into rows. Then it is termed as a transpose of that matrix. And uh, here we can see the given matrix and the transpose of that matrix both are identical. So both are identical. So from the above as A is equal to A transpose, therefore the above square matrix is a symmetric matrix. Next we have skew symmetric matrix. So a square matrix that is equal to the negative of its transpose, then it is called a skew symmetric matrix. So whenever you do the transpose of the given matrix, if the value turned out to be negative of that given elements of the transpose, then it is termed as a skew symmetric matrix. So negative of the transpose. So if A is a square matrix, then for a skew symmetric matrix, A is equal to minus A transpose. So we can observe here, A is equal to 0, 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 3, 2, minus 3, 0. So now you have transpose of that matrix is 0, minus 1, 2, 1, 0, minus 3, minus 2, 3, 0. So this is the transpose of the given matrix. Now you can see, the given signs are changed. So 0, no change is changed. It will be remain same. Then 1 has turned into minus 1. Minus 2 is turned to plus 2. So minus 1, then it has turned to plus 1. 0 will remain the same. 3 has turned to minus 3. 2 to minus 2. It is minus 3. After transpose, it is 3. 0 will remain as it is. So from here itself, you can observe the all the values has been changed. The sign of the given uh, elements of the matrix has been changed. So from that we can believe that A is equal to negative of the transpose of A. So this is nothing but skew symmetric matrix. So these are the types of matrices. So in the next video, we hope you will join for us for addition of matrices and subtraction and also the different basics of the matrices. I hope we will subscribe our channel and press the bell icon and put a like button. We hope that you will join to our future videos. Thank you. Signing off from here.